Today we are doing an IELTS speaking mock test with my student. His name is Ramesh. And the purpose of the video really is to show you what happens in part one of the IELTS speaking mock test. And after I'll give some feedback to show what went well in this particular test. Let's get started. So hello, good morning. Uh, what is your hello, full name? Morning. My full name is Ramesh Kapoor, but you can call me Ramesh. Thank you very much. Uh, can I see your ID, please? Yes, of course. Here is my ID. Uh, okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, so now we'll start the IELTS speaking test part one. I'll just ask you a series of questions and do the best you can to respond. So firstly, uh, where are you from? Originally, I'm native of Himachal Pradesh. That is one of the hilly states in India, Northern India. Okay, that's great, thanks. Do you like the place where you're living? Yes, of course, I like the place very much. I belong to a small village and I like the place very much because it has all the time comfortable weather and it has a great natural view rather than other places in my state. Yeah, that sounds lovely. And at the moment, do you work or do you study? At present, I'm studying. I'm pursuing Bachelor of Education in a college. This is an important degree to be a professional teacher in my country. Okay, great. What do you do in your free time, in your leisure time? Uh, I am, fond of, I am fond of reading books and writing stories. Whenever I get leisure time, I try to read stories from different genres. Do you listen to music sometimes? Often I love to listen to music because it helps me to energize myself. And sometimes whenever I'm feeling bored or low, I go for music. Yes. Do you prefer traditional music from your country or modern music from your country? I like to listen traditional music because it can help us to understand the crucial elements of culture, heritage and history of a particular country. Um, so how often do you use a computer for the internet? I often use computer for using internet because I, I, as I mentioned that I study in college so we have lots of assignment work and which is available on computer on internet and internet is one of the major sources which is always helping me a lot whenever I face any difficulty in my studies or in, in other cases. Right. Do you think that the internet is beneficial for us? Yes, of course. Internet is very beneficial for all of us because sometimes when we don't have any guidance, when we don't have any motivator or mentor, computer, internet is always suggesting us. And if we use it in the right way, in the positive way, it is one of the blessings by science to us. Yes. Do you think that we should restrict the internet for children and for teenagers or should we allow free access? to children and teenagers? I suppose we should have some strictness towards teenager or children because they are not mature and on internet, uh, there are negatives and as well as positive content is shown on internet. So students are not mature, they must be allowed under the observation or under the custody of elders, they can use that. Yes. We've just come to the end of speaking part one. Now let's move to speaking part two. Great, so some feedback on Ramesh's speaking test. First of all, I felt that he was very, very well prepared for this particular test. And in particular, he was able to speak about his hometown or region. And as I said in earlier videos, it's very important to be ready for four specific topics that always come up in IELTS speaking. That is your house or apartment, your family or friends, your hometown and your work or yeah. studies. Secondly, regarding vocabulary, I felt that Ramesh had quite an extensive vocabulary. He did change his words. He didn't repeat himself too often. In terms of structure, I felt his grammar was very good now we didn't go into the future forms or the past in that particular part of the test of the video 
but he used the present form and the conditional very well, and his use of prepositions was accurate too. Pronunciation was clear, even though Ramesh, for me, I could detect his Indian accent, it wasn't interfering with his ability to be understood, so I could follow everything that he said. Don't worry too much about your accent. The main thing is that you're understandable to the examiner. And then finally, fluency and coherence. In terms of coherence, Ramesh was very coherent. He could articulate himself in a way that was understood by the examiner. He was also able to improvise at length. That is a sign of fluency. Usually in exam, people do very well at the beginning of the test and they can speak well for a few minutes. But the real test is in part two and part three, when you have to speak at length and keep going in a coherent way that the examiner can understand you. But Ramesh did a very good job. And in later videos, I'm going to touch on parts two and three to find little ways to help you to become more coherent and to keep going at length. Thank you for watching everyone. Good luck in IELTS speaking, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.